Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with this gadget, which is probably a vintage item by now. It's been around for over 10 years. I keep seeing it on QVC, so I'm finally trying it out for myself. And that is the Auto Safety Master Opener. It's a five-in-one kitchen gadget. Seems pretty popular, so I'm gonna try it out for myself and see how it really works. Let's jump right into it. First up, all the features here. Now as a safety can opener with its little lid lifter there. Speaking of lid lifter, if you've never seen the old classic lid lifter video, I'll link that one below. I still watch that one a couple times a year. But I digress. You have a screw cap opener opener on this side, a bottle opener on that side, a can pull ring tab opener here, and on the bottom here you've got a screw lid jar opener. It's popular on Amazon. It's got a 4.7 star rating among over 8,000 reviews. Now there's a lot of cheap knockoffs on Amazon. I'd probably steer clear of those. The reviews of those are not quite as good. So just my first initial uh, thoughts are that it's pretty heavy. It seems like it's well made. Uh, maybe you consider it a bit bulky for, to go in a drawer, but if it replaces a bunch of different items, maybe that doesn't really matter so much. It seems like each function is pretty easy to access. So I don't think that it's any of those are gonna be that difficult. First up, I'm gonna throw in a softball and do the easiest one, which is a standard bottle opener. That should be hard to mess up. So let's see how it works. I should point out that I, this is my preferred bottle opener as well to pop the top. I will show you a video of how that one works. This is still my favorite, but maybe this was gonna be a nice backup. I'd be disappointed if it didn't work because bottle opener is pretty hard to mess up, right? Let's check it out. All right, well, it locks onto it pretty well. So I have, that's a good first sign. And <laughs> big surprise, it worked. All right, let me just try a couple more just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. <laughs> Can never try just one, right? Here we go. Number two. Very good. It's pretty solid. I have to say that I've had some bottle openers that are kind of bend. Because it's so big and bulky, it actually makes it pretty solid to hold on to. And finally, let's see what we got here. All right, so just as a bottle opener, very solid. This one is good for doing a rapid succession of bottles, but if you just need something down and dirty, this will definitely do the job. It's, a, it's more solid than the average bottle opener, I will say that. Let's move on to the next thing. Now, this twist cap opener, they say, is universal. So anything with a regular twist cap, it should work on. So I've got three different sizes here. Let's try them out. I've got a, this small personal size. I've got a one liter and I've got a two liter. By the way, this won't work on, on larger caps like Gatorade bottles. It'll only work on this size cap. All right, so let's start off with the first one and see how it goes. Now, it fits on there pretty well. I guess you have to kind of press down a little bit. Well, that was uh, pretty easy. I mean, no, nothing really uh, spectacular about it, but it did work. What's weird is when it first goes on there, it seems like it kind of slips around, but as soon as you press it down, it grabs onto it. So when you first put it on there, it kind of slips, but as soon as you apply pressure, it seems to grab onto it. All right, easy enough. It's, and I actually got a little bit, I got something on me, but it worked pretty well. It seems, it doesn't seem like I'm taking, it's taking much force. Let's do the, the two liter here now. Wow, okay. All right, well, it, it worked flawlessly. I have got no complaints about it. Pretty foolproof. It doesn't seem like it's that difficult, but it did work. I wasn't sure if it would work on this kind of a water bottle cap. Let's, let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't work. It does not work. Even these kind of caps will not work on there. It really has to be just that one size. Let's move to the most important feature, which is the can opener feature here. I just got a regular generic can right here. Let's see what happens. Now, they say that you won't get any food or anything on the actual opener itself. Unlike this kind of can opener, which does kind of go into the food, this one supposedly does not. Let's see. So you're supposed to place it on the lip here. Turn the crank until it kind of catches, which I just felt to do that. And then we're going to turn it. You can see that there's a small line right there where it's penetrating the cap itself. It's very smooth. I'm not requiring very much effort. They also say not to overshoot, not to keep going when you've done one full circle or that will create jagged edges. Now you're supposed to go backward and just, just released. So now I'm supposed to use my lifter here and see what happens. There it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. It does feel pretty smooth though. All right, let's try another one. How about a can of tuna? This is a pretty common size here. Turn it until it grabs onto it. And I just felt it loosen up. So that's obviously when I'm get to the other end. Let's turn it backwards the other way to release it. And now I'll use the sparrow's beak. And there we go. How smooth is it? pretty smooth and i will say there there is no usually on a tuna can you get have juice on there it's it's completely dry so there is none on there so they're right about that so one thing i want to try is what happens when you have a can that's imperfect like there's a flat edge on this can right here what happens with that i'm going to put that flat edge right in the center and see what happens and i am turning i'm turning and here comes the flat edge right there let's see what happens 
Oh, it seemed to go right through it. It didn't seem to, to stop it whatsoever. So that seemed like it was uh, no problem for it. All right, seemed like it finishes. Turn back the other way. And there we go. All right, so it worked on an imperfect lid, so I think it worked pretty well. I think we're three for three on the master opener, so let's keep going. The pull ring opener I'm kind of curious about because I've had, I've tried other versions of that before where it didn't really work so well. Let's give it a shot. I've got three different size cans here. The way you're really supposed to do this is this hook goes underneath there and you just pull back. There we go. Oh, that worked pretty well. Remember Vienna sausages? That's the one thing that I loved as a kid. I do not like as an adult. Right, let's try another one here. This is kind of a more of a medium sized can. Slide it underneath, pull back. Wow, that's very smooth. I will say I've done other ones like this, did not work that well. I think it's just there's so much leverage because it's so heavy, it just has no problem pulling through these. Let's try the last one here. Oh yeah. So far, I think that's the most impressive feature to me and that was the one that was kind of under the radar. This is the one that I, I think that I've had more problems with, with other gadgets and seems to work flawlessly on this one. Kind of impressed by, by the, this feature more than anything. And finally, let's see how it works to open some jars with the screw on lid opener. This is the one I'm probably the most skeptical about. That's the jar opener here. All right, so the way it's supposed to work is you hook it onto the jar itself. You're supposed to pull it up and it releases the pressure and it's supposed to be easy to open. Let's see if that works. All right, so I've got it hooked onto the jar. Oh, I heard, I heard it. It was quiet, but I heard it. Oh yeah, huh. Let me, uh, let me try another one here. That was uh, pretty easy. Maybe not as easy as some of the other functions, but it was pretty easy. And once again, hooking it onto the jar itself. Give it a pull. Oh, I, I, I heard and felt that release. That's, that was actually easier than the first one. Let's try another one. How about a jar of pickles? It does latch onto that. Let me see. I'll pull it, pull it back. All right. It does take a little bit of force, more than some of the other things. I have to put a little bit of force into that one, but it did open pretty well. I did look in the store and try to find a jar that was a little bit bigger of a cap and I found this one. And as you can see, it does not fit on there. It doesn't fit. So if your cap is not this size, as you can see, that's a little bit thicker and it's not gonna work. I can't even get it to hook on there to make it work. All right, so in the end, I've reviewed a lot of products that are probably considered jack of all trades, master of none. I would say this one is kind of a jack of all trades and a master of most. But overall, build-wise, it feels very heavy. It feels solid, well-made. Maybe a little bit bulky, but if it's replacing a bunch of different gadgets, maybe that bulk is worth it. All right, so I think that overall it does work. I think that probably the jar opener is my least favorite of all the functions. The can pull ring opener is probably my favorite, although the can opener itself does work quite well. Some people might think it's a bit expensive for 23 bucks, but it seems very well-made. I feel like it's gonna last for a long time. It's been around for a long time. It remains popular. So I think the auto safety master opener is a good product. But if you've used this or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah, all these can openers, by the way, have the smooth, are the smooth. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but they show it on a balloon and I just cut my finger on it.